let me tell you about the encounter with God that changed everything about who I am. And that's not an exaggeration. It was one of those moments where overnight something happened in me that I don't know could happen any other way. I am all for processes of growth and the journey of transformation, but there's also these definitive moments that close one door and open another and start a whole another journey of growth, but they're marking to such a way that you are truly not the same. And I had one of those when I was in my living room in 2005, and I was invited into my living room because there was a small group happening in there with my parents' friends, and a guest had come through and they said, hey, we, we have a prophetic word for Chris. I can't recall a time in my life that I was prophesied over. I, I understood prophetic ministry somehow, but I didn't have this moment where someone was prophesying over me. I wasn't looking for God. I was living addicted to pornography, trying to figure out my life and doing what you do when you don't know God in an intimate way. And they called me down to the living room. And when they called me down to the living room, I sat in a chair alongside a couple other people that they were ministering to. This was a small group of people. This was probably maybe 10 people. And uh, the Holy Spirit was jealous in that moment for me. And they began to prophesy over me. And when they began to prophesy over me, I could feel this, what's best to describe this force coming at me. And they ministered to me. And at one point, as they were ministering to me, this force, which at the time I would have called force, but we all know the person of the Holy Spirit rushing me as the scriptures talk about the Holy Spirit came upon them or seized them, put them on like a glove. Something happened and the Holy Spirit hit me. And when the Holy Spirit hit me, I bent over in the chair I was sitting in. Fire filled my body. I began to just be filled with heat, sweating, and out of my mouth came a language I did not know. And I am filled with what I would describe as this sense of completion, this sense of the thing that was missing is there. And my insecurities started to feel like they were falling off of me. I started to feel this completing love and my, my insecurities, the things that I would second guess about myself or be aware started to like drift away. Not that I didn't have a journey after that of figuring out how to navigate my insecurities, but in that moment, a love so pure, a love so real just cascaded over me. And I was just filled with it. And it wasn't just like a boom, a moment. It was Continue. It was literally like a cascading of God's presence over me over and over and over again. It was like I was, something was rushing over me and pulling out of me something and filling me simultaneously with something. And in that moment, I fell in love with Jesus. It was an overnight experience that that morning I woke up with not an interest in the world for Jesus. I went to bed that night with an absolute fascination with Jesus. I was captivated by him. I was drawn in. He felt so near and so desirable by me. And also at the same time, I could feel how for me he was. All of a sudden, God was not an idea. All of a sudden, God was not uh, about uh, agreeing with a certain set of beliefs. It was not about my church attendance at that moment. It was all about God gave himself to me. And in that, I realized I could give myself to him. And in that exchange, I could feel the sense of ecstatic joy, bliss, and rapture that came in his presence that un just made me undone. It just wrecked me for anything other than that. And I couldn't be satisfied with just playing the game. I couldn't be satisfied with just even going to church. There was a true tasting of God that now everything else started to not make sense. And if it wasn't that, I didn't want it. And all of a sudden it was raw, it was real, it was undignified, it was not polished, it was not trying to advance any kind of uh, agenda. It was purely the union with God that changed everything. I went from being locked away in my room, looking at pornography, to locked away in my room, praying in my closet. And I was finally, what I would actually say, living because I was truly 
born again. I was having the experience of living as a new creation in God because I am enjoying God himself and his givenness to me. So that's what changed my life with God and I've never looked 